What's going on, everybody? Dan Unfiltered, Unfiltered Reactions. Continuing corn, remember who you are. This is Are You Ready to Live? Hmm. Sometimes you can tell by titles how a song's gonna go, and this one I think already I might like. Just by the name. Because it sounds like he's probably in a special dark place for this song, and it sounds sadistic and it sounds awful, but I love when musicians are in a dark place when they write a song. When they get happy, the music goes to shit. I can name a ton. Adele, shit. Sam Smith, shit. Alanis Morissette, for the people from the 90s, shit. Once they get happy, the music goes to shit. But, when their uh, life is in shambles, us fans, we win. Our life is good, because their life sucks, their music is way better. Again, I told you it's going to sound awful, but it's just the way it is. And that's just the, off the top of my head. There are tons that are in that category. Once they get married, the music is terrible. But, uh, let's check out Are You Ready to Live? Subscribe. Hit the fucking like. Standard intro. I know what you're thinking. I know what you're feeling. I know everything in this world surrounds me. I feel your breathing. I feel your screaming. I feel like you go nowhere in this world without me. My mind plays tricks on me. I can't control it. You see, I feel it beating down the bank around me. My mind That definitely, when he goes that high pitch voice, he doesn't really do it on, uh, he didn't do it much on the last album. I like when he does that. Like, he did that a, a good bit on some of the, uh, Untouchables album. He did a, a hell of a lot on their original music, like their first couple albums. I like that. I don't give a shit if he's not hitting a single fucking note. It sounds nice to do that during a verse. It just does. Yeah. Oh, I'm really interested. That was great. Let's keep it going. I'm gonna have to do that again. That was absolutely excellent. Wow. Yeah, that was very fucking good. Again, I talked about in the last song. He can go crazy in the middle of a song and it's perfect. And I love that they used his screaming as, a, like, he's going nuts in the background. Like, they don't do that often. Normally, it's just that. But he still is going to continue the song. And it's like, it feels like thoughts in his head kind of snapping.
God damn, that was great. How bad? That was excellent. Wow. There's no complaints. None. Just hit the X. It should be in one of these corners. Maybe that, that, that direction, maybe. I'm not sure. It's all mirrored. Damn. That was good. That, that one kind of took me, took me aback for a minute. Like, wow. That was really good. That was kind of like someone painting their... Not, it's not Korn's masterpiece, but you know what I mean. It's like, no other band's gonna do that. No one. The verses, perfect. The Even though the chorus was good. Was good. And we don't have to talk about the bridge, and any time the Are You Ready to Live, the two breakdowns they did of that, phenomenal. Went crazy during one. The outro, he did it again, but this time without going crazy, he was just kind of like accepting and slowly... Declining until the song was over. And the, the chorus fit perfectly. Him losing his mind. Is there any explanation needed for anyone? Talk about losing his mind. Then you get the Are You Ready to Live with the screams. Which sound like it was coming from the back of his head. Like, a, like voices. That was great. And all you do is give, man. And I appreciate it, Jonathan Davis. Keep giving us more music. That was good. That's one where if that's done live, I don't even know if you mosh pit. Can we just give him a standing ovation at the end? Is that it? Is that good enough? That was fucking sweet. I would like to hear that live. That was really good. Damn. Oof. It's going to be tough. It's going to be tough. We only have one song left. One song left. And then the, I think there's two or three bonus tracks. We're going to do those also. God did Shut up! Fucking neighbors, man. They're always weed whacking. Fucking hate neighbors. Anyway. Hit the like. Subscribe. It's good stuff. And uh, we're probably going to go live when uh, this album is over and the bonus tracks. And we're going to grade the album. Talk about top five songs. It'll probably be on a 10 o'clock. Probably on like a Friday night or Saturday night. Whatever is easiest for most people. Something like that. Let me know in the comment section. What day is, is a weekend good? 10 p.m. on a weekend? Something like that. And uh, let me know. And if you are still here, you are a real one. Corn, good fucking job yet again, man. No one talks about this album. Why? It's good. <laughs>